Welcome to the Texas Gulf Coast. I've lived here, taught here, virtually my entire life. Everyone, every building, and every street corner here has a story, and I've set out to find them. I'm Professor John Britt of Lee College, and this is the history in your own backyard. If you've ever needed a haircut in Baytown, Texas, chances are that you've been to the Trophy Barbershop. Located on Texas Avenue in Baytown's historic district, the Trophy Barbershop has been a part of the city for over 60 years. The signs outside the shop make the decorations of famous and world's most unusual. One step inside and it's easy to see why. It's like no other. Now you might find a few shops with heads in them, but you won't find one with this many. Hunting trophies ranging from eagles to alligators are mounted in every corner of this building. Jimmy Carpenter put them there. In 1948, Carpenter started Jimmy's Barbershop, a modest two-seat shop. Although hair was his profession, hunting was his passion. Carpenter traveled the country and the globe in search of game. He has trophies from areas such as the Arctic and Africa. However, he first began to adorn his business with his unique prizes out of necessity. Jimmy Carpenter started putting these heads in here because his wife wouldn't let him keep them at the house. <laughs> business was very good for Carpenter. And by the early 1960s, he had outgrown his original shop. In 1962, he opened the Trophy Barber Shop in its current location. The new space included eight chairs and perhaps most importantly, extra space to display Carpenter's trophies. Carpenter eventually sold his shop in the 1970s because of health problems, but he continued to cut hair there until his death in 1980. Despite Carpenter's absence, the shop has been known for its remarkable consistency particularly customers. And we've, we're working on some of the fifth, fifth generation people now. Granddads, great granddads, and, and sons, and, and their sons. Most of them, we started off cutting when they were babies. The trophies and customers aren't the only fixtures at this barber shop. Many of the employees have made entire careers here. I've been here for 36 years. One such man is John Cooper. Well, I've been here for 40 some years. So this is the only place I've been since I've been in Baytown. Cooper was a shine man. He started to work here in the 1960s. He retired a few years ago, but still comes to the barber shop to visit and swap stories with the former customers and co-workers who have become lifelong friends. And I appreciate this shop since uh, sometimes I dream about it at night time. <laughs> Over time, the Trophy Barbershop has changed several owners but the shop remains virtually the same. Current owner Chris Rowe says that this shop has become a local legend, and it's a legacy that they just want to live up to. The importance of it and what, what Jimmy wanted, and basically he wanted it, he made something very special. There's certain rules and boundaries you have to abide by, and they work, and they've been working for 53 years. We help support the community, community supports us, and uh, so I think it's a pretty good mix. 